What are some of the challenges you are likely to meet in real estate? So be ready. You got to know, first of all, that there is no business you want to do which doesn't have its challenge. Whatever you want to do, you want to do, you know, do shares and stocks and, and wealth creation, ah, it has its challenges. You can wake up one day and all your stocks and shares are wiped out. You want to do Bitcoin. All of you who are Bitcoiners, you know what happened last year. Uh, it crashed from fifty, seventy thousand dollars for one Bitcoin to twenty thousand dollars, if not lower. And yesterday, I was just reading; they were excited and rejoicing that Bitcoin have rallied back to thirty thousand dollars for one Bitcoin. That invisible thing, invisible money you own, you don't know where it is. It is just a collection of numbers on a computer somewhere. Please pray for me. I still am not a Bitcoiner. I like to see where the money began and I like to see where it is going. It could even be invisible, but it has a degree of tangibility because it is tied to an economy. When I say dollar, I know it is tied to America. When I say sterling, it is tied to Britain. And when I say euro, it is tied to all the collection of European nations. But when you say Bitcoin, they say one Mr. Nagasaki or Wagasaki or whatever his name is, created this currency. It is somewhere in the nebulous place. So I take all my life's income and put in some nebulous place. You can just tell that. I think I may have invested $2,000 in one of those coins so that I'm not left out. So you people don't laugh at me the day it makes money. But if it doesn't, I'm not taking too much risk. Give me real estate any day and in a city where things work, not every city. Some real estate, are the, they are slower than a, a turtle. All right, what are the challenges to expect? Number one, market fluctuations. Market fluctuations, the real estate market can be volatile with prices and demand changing rapidly. All the things that can bear upon real estate, I've mentioned some of them. Uh, demography, people's movement. Democracy, the people's government. All kinds of things can bear on real estate. Market fluctuations can either increase or decrease the level of real estate demand or capacity or ability to sell. But one thing is very clear, even if there is a low market, there is also a rising later. Investors must be able to adapt to these changes and stay on top of market trends. Number two challenge, <laughs> this is a big one, is financing. Obtaining financing for real estate investment can be difficult, especially for new investors. And it also depends on the nation. Oh my geez. Some nations will say, can they pull your teeth without anesthesis before they will loan you money? Everywhere, the United Kingdom, I mean, the whole of the West will expect that you come with five to 10% of the money you want to borrow. I think it's still 10%. It is fair to be, to be honest. It is fair for them to ask you to have 10% because anything you have no risk in, then you are ready to walk away from it because all you want is the juice, is what you get out of it. So obtaining financing for real estate investment can be difficult because the bank also has to be convinced that their money will not be lost. Lenders may require large down payments, particularly if it's commercial, industrial, commercial and industrial will ask for 30%, 40%. So it's religious building, 40%, 30%. They will look for your credit scores. What do credit scores do? They show them and guarantee them that you borrowed before, but you paid. If you have a tendency not to pay before, you are likely not to pay again. They will ask for extensive financial documentation. I mean, 
Oh, it depends on even the nations. Some nations are mad. They're just crazy. We took a loan recently to now operate the mechanical electrical plumbing of our estate, that is the water, the electricity, and uh, the sewage system. So after the bank has asked for our tooth to be pulled out and have asked for us to dance uh, rumba for them, and they have asked us to do almost the impossible, after they release the money, we come, we want to draw because our service provider needs a large chunk so it can quickly change to the dollar so it can go to Turkey to buy equipment. Then the bank says, um, we need head office to approve you taking a large chunk. You must be joking. You must be joking. You are charging me every day for this money in that account. You already even took 1% service charge. 1% service charge, you are loaning me at 25%, which makes it 26%. And now come, I want to quickly give the man who will use it to create value. So the money is not sitting there, not doing anything. And you say, head office must approve. Isn't that very, very, shall I say interesting or uninteresting? And I'm just, I, 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 it was so difficult to swallow. Then after, I said, no. If head office, why head office approved? They said, number two is Lai Chung and number two is June. Oh, you knew it's June and you gave me loan in June. Why June? They said, because we're going to do half a year credit report and we want to show profit from our own region. Banks are, I'm almost tempted to see, when you see the devil and banks, you should kill the bank and not kill the devil first. Number three challenge is property management. Real estate investment require ongoing maintenance and management. Jeez. That's why every coughing, everything you require tenants to know must be in the contract. Everything. You can't do this. You can't drag that. You can't, you can't put nails in my wall. The day you put nails, when you are going, you have to make good the wall. You have to put deposit down against damages, this, that. You know, when you see those things, sometimes you react until you are a real estate investor yourself. Some tenants, I don't know where they came from. I do not know where they came from. They just seem as if they came to destroy you. So your tenancy law needs to be so strong, so tight, so powerful. Some Chinese guys rented an apartment which we used to own somewhere in Kent, in Essex. These guys were using the wall of the apartment to grow, to grow weed. To grow weed, it was just, thank God. Now, somebody again tipped off the police before the police came, they themselves had had, they too were tipped off, declared everything and left. It is you, the owner, that the police will ask for, not the tenant, unless it is in your tenancy laws that they cannot carry out anything illegal. In selling land in Africa, we had to put clauses in the contract that the person must say, I am aware that the money I'm using to buy this land was not gotten through money laundering or through any illegal source. That's just one of your protection. Then the same country requires you to have this certificate that says you have registered with the anti-monetary money laundering uh, commission that you watch anybody who's buying from you. Jeez, man. Investors must be willing to take on the responsibility of property management or hire a professional property management company. Because every day there is a story. We own a building that has seven floors and has 29 suites. And we're occupying 26 out of the 20, we're occupying three out of the 29 suites. They've rented out 26. Imagine if you had 26 tenants and they're all sorts. 
it is better for somebody to have been managing it for us. Number four challenge is the tenant management itself. If investing in rental properties, investors must be prepared to deal with tenant issues such as rent collection, repairs, evictions, because even rent collection, you did not make very clear in the contract that if they don't pay your rent, they can be thrown out within a certain time. You'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. Almost every nation in the earth, tenancy law tends to favor the tenant and you the owner of the house. For some reason, our laws are written to back victims. And some people make themselves deliberate victims to take advantage of you. And you can't take a paper. Please, 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 members of the uh, Wealth Masterclass, don't take a paper and just write, I'm ejecting you from my house. That paper can make that tenant get a lawyer, sue you, stay in your house one year, no rent before you now start the process of ejecting. And it could take another six months. Wealth creation requires some risk. It's better to take risk and create the wealth than not to take risk and stay broke. If investing in rental properties, investors must be prepared to deal with tenant issues, rent collections, repairs, eviction, Every day, something may happen. Number five, challenge, legal issues. Real estate investing involves complex legal issues, such as zoning regulations. So before you buy, you need to know what is the zoning for. You need to get to know that definitely there will be a change. And even if they promise you that there will be a change, the sellers of the land, there must be a clause that says, your money will be fully refunded if the change they anticipated did not take place within A, B, C, D. There may be other challenges like property taxes, landlord, tenant laws. You need to look at that carefully. Carefully, you can't, like I said again, you can't just eject and there are some tenants. They just know what to do to propagate their stay. Investors must be knowledgeable about these issues or hire a competent attorney. Not every lawyer knows about land law, about tenancy law. They read every part of law that specializes in one area, get the one who knows it well. Particularly if you are going to be staying in the area of wealth creation through property, you need to have a lawyer who knows his onions regarding land law and company law. Next challenge is competition. Real estate investing is a highly competitive industry with many investors vying for the same properties everywhere in the world. If it is not the one you are selling, it is the one you are building. If you are building, you need to look for ways to disrupt the market. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the Wealth Masterclass, let me tell you, you need to, if you are selling properties, if you are doing anything, don't queue, disrupt, disrupt the market. Disrupt, disrupt the market. Investors must be prepared to act quickly, make competitive offers to secure desirable properties. Do all your research. See if you can wait one year or six months before you make profit on it, therefore high. Uh, offer above the other person. But be ready to walk away if you know that it's just a killer just beside our estate. There is a land which uh, the debt recovery company of the government have bought. The company is called Amcon. They are to buy debt from banks and turn it to profit. This debt comes by way of somebody who is unable to pay the bank. So somebody was unable to pay the bank and because uh, they were unable to pay the bank, they came and bought it. 10 years down the road or less, they're ready to sell. It's only 14 plots. We looked at the value we're selling our own land. 
We offered them the money of Nigeria, 470 million, 400 and, no, 480, because we got to know that they valued it for 470. So we offered them 482 because they valued it for 472. We, pay, we offered 482. Some guy just comes blindly and offers 722. That's the kind of uh, competition you should walk away from because he would take forever to recover. They got proper valuation, I said 472. We added another 10. He came and, and offered something in the region of 200 plus, about 220 more, 240 more. Before he can recover, it'll be like forever. There's the challenge of the competition that's the one to walk away from so you can sleep and rest. Don't buy something that becomes a, an, an albatross around your neck. The challenge of economic downturns. Real estate markets can be affected by economic downturns, causing property values to decline and rental demands to decrease. Whenever there is a downturn, people are not ready for any high price. So as the world was coming out of COVID-19 in some parts of the world, there were no people buying. Properties were down. Things were tough. There was challenge everywhere. So during economic downturns, you must know that, that the market will slow down. That's why you need to have other things in your portfolio and you need to have other streams. So you don't sell in desperation. Don't sell real estate in desperation. Don't sell real estate in desperation. Very important. Very important. When you sell in desperation, you regret. Investors must be prepared to weather those downturns and have a long-term investment strategy, have ways to hold on until the value changes, until there is an increase. 